Well, I didn't get think we'd get a chapter this, this week at all, considering you know well what month it is. Well, we'd rather. So yeah, Merry Christmas. Well, late Merry Christmas, but you know, feeling still the same. Feck! Better delete that. Ichi B! It's just like what I saw. <laughs> He's dead! A tragic death. Tragic? Tragic? Barely know the guy. He'll be tra- well... Apologies if you hear noise. Your death just three steps ahead. Oh my god, that that's very dark. I mean, but yeah, tragic death. Um, it'd be more tragic if you know, sort of Hardy Bell, Nelly L. Well, Toshiro's up for debate at the moment. I don't know what's happened to him. But yeah, it was tragic when he was a zombie. And Bambi had to. Whoa! What Ooh, explosion? Now, oh, did you violate his corpse like you did with? Wait, what? Okay. The Zero Division has fallen. Hikofune, Karinji, Nimaya, and Shitaru. Well, um, Karinji, Hikofune, and Shitaru probably, um, you know, incapacitated. Nimaya, dead. I'm just gonna say it. And it's your turn next. Say father. Say father. Soul King. Oh. <sighs> 611 bleach. The Soul King dies. Whoa, what's going on here? Wait, oh, the rocket came here. Is it the rocket? Is it? Because <laughs> I remember making the same mistake. Is that Ganju? Ganju! Oh, yeah, it is. Ganju and friends. Ugh, we re Kubo should have really put Hanato here. I'm sorry. It would have made it more, you know, reminiscent. Sorry, Ganja Kun. I couldn't fit you into the Santen Kenshun. It's fine. <laughs> Where's McGrimmy? Where is he? It's too quiet. Did something happen? Are the battles over? Yeah. Everyone's dead. Killed by zombies. Oh. Yoruichi, my girl. This. I mean, all of you, mate, just looks terrified. The Zero Division. It's the High Priest, the one that trained Rukia and I when we're in the Zero Division. I'll heal him. Okay. Okay. If Orihime is going to do what I think she's going to do, then fuck me, Grim... Uh, Ukiora's back. Come on, girl. Come on, Kubo. It's impossible to help him while he's all in pieces. Ichigo. Huh? What? High Priest. Ichigo, my name. You okay? you okay? I'm not sure. Call my name. What? I keep hearing the High Priest. Ichibi. Please call my name. Um. Fuck off. Cry. Missing my lover. Ichigo. Your name. Uh. Something Ichibi. I'm not going to pronounce that for the life of me. I was, I was, y yes, he, he was resurrected. But it, I was more excited with Odohime resurrecting him. <sighs> Phew, that was close, thanks, boy. Fuck you. <laughs> what? What happened? Weren't you dead? Hmm? Yeah, I died. All names have powers, and by having you call my name, I stole some of your powers and put myself back to get... What? Man, that's messed up. It would have made more logical sense if you had Odahime call your name. If that's the case... Really? Hey, I have the right to sap some power from you. Okay, what? What? I'm sorry, it would have made more sense. 
with Odahime doing something like this, because we've seen her do it numerous of times. Like, for example, which one? Minoli or Loli? What? And before you say, but her body wasn't in pieces. She, the, like, she was missing, like, parts of herself. I mean, like, if she can repair something with, like, reverse effects with, like, you know... But yeah, she repaired Grimjaw's arm when nothing was there, you know? Like, if she has something to work with, like, she has the head to work with, I'm sure she could regenerate the body. And, you know, on the organs as well. Ichigo. Please stop Juha. What about your comrade, though? He's defeated the whole zoo division. I may have gotten myself back in one piece, but... We may not make it in time if we wait for my powers to return. You had no chance in the first place. What makes you think you're going to stand a chance a second time? There isn't anyone left that can stop him. I'm not saying you have to kill him. Just stop him. Wait, 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 wait. You're, not as you're asking him to stop him, but you're not asking him to kill him. Now, what? What? The Soul King is the key to this world. To this world, is that Kyle Kurtan? If the Soul King dies, Serite, the present world, Waco Mundo, everything will disappear. Ah, oh, there's Waco Mundo. I'm sorry for asking so much of you, but please protect the Soul King, Ichigo. Okay. Who stopped him? What? What? The Soul King is not the main antagonist? Uh, uh, well, that theory can still... Farewell, Soul King. They finally meet face to face. The what? Yo! <laughs> my father. What did I fucking say? The one that has seen into the future. My father. Oh, I was just getting to the good part. Hold on. Oh, I was right. Fucking a. Now I hope you mean by my father is in my father, you know, and not like when people call a priest my father and other holy beings, you know. Granted, he is a holy being, but still, I hope you actually mean by flesh and blood, and you know, parenthood thing. Etc. Etc. <sighs> but yeah, not gonna lie. I did say it would make more sense if each if Odahime, uh did the reversal effect thing on Ichibi, because we've seen her repair things out of nothing. Granted, she's had like a few things to work with, but still, she was able to bring someone back from the dead and bring back Grimjow's arm. Those are the only ones that I can recall. I mean, in filler, she repaired a ball, but that, uh, um, but you know, that was literally out of nothing as well. Like she just used the space around it. That's why I think she can still bring back Okiyo. But anyway, like I said, I would have been fine if Ichi B came back with that, because again, we've seen already he may do it, but but this. Now, I don't recall, well, actually, no, I've never recalled anyone doing this, but this seemed, in my opinion, an ass pull. Now, again, that's, that seems a bit um, topsy-turvy. I'm willing to accept that he may resurrect him, but I'm not willing for something like that. But when we're used to something, we take it off as natural. Something new, we're just like, what? So, yeah, um... I mean, and of course, like, you know, the Ukiura fanboy in me, like, seeing now, like, yes, then, oh, obviously she has gotten Ukiura back, come on! 
But that, that's just like, you know, a fanboy is in fact. The main factor is that we've seen Orihime do this on, on a number of occasions within canon and filler. Regardless of the filler, of course. I mean, we have seen her do it. I mean, it's not, again, something new. So, ass pull, but at the same time, pff, I can't really call it, you know? So, take it as it comes. As for... Nimaya Karinji and Hugo Fune, that No. Karinji, Hugo Fune, and Shitaro. As for those three, that can be debated whether they're alive or well actually Can I say that they're dead? I mean But Nimaya I'm saying that he's dead for the most part. I mean, yes, you you you'll probably think, but Zeta, why can't, you know, wouldn't Ichibi have um Karinji, Kofune and Karin uh, and Nimaya and Shitaru do the same thing? Probably. I mean he, that can be done. Not gonna lie, that they can do that. But it's just the only one that I'm considering dead out of the, the um Free that uh, incapacitated uh, Nimaya because we still haven't had any confirmation that he's well, alive or dead. It's just in the way he's drawn here. Well, they all look deathly, but again, Karinji Hukufune and Shitaru, I'm just like thinking incapacitated. So, yeah. Um, Ichigo and friends have arrived at the Soul Palace. Um, when did they leave? I don't know, I'm not willing to go back and look. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, they're finally at the Soul Palace. They see what's happened. Orohime was going to heal him. Now, <sighs> this is me going back to the Yukiora thing, but still, the suggestion of this does bring it into light, you know? Now, we yes, her, we know her character. Like she's she's gonna help anyone, even if she, it seems impossible. But how should I word it again? Going back to Minoli, because this is or Loli, whichever one was killed, because that's the perfect example. Seeing her like that, the way uh, uh, she was drawn, because obviously it was censored in the anime, what Grimjow did to her. Um. And what they did to her, like, obviously, like, she will help people no matter what, essentially. If they do bad to her, she doesn't want to see others get hurt. And I like that personality with her. And again, she doesn't want the enemy to die. We've seen this uh, numerous of times, and to her, you could probably say that plain expression she had when she resurrected her was because of... You know, she was just like, oh, I might as well try, see if it works. You could say that, but with someone like Ichibi, she may not know him, but she knows that she's on his her side, well, Ichigo's side, the good side, blah, blah, blah. I mean, good and evil, like, isn't really properly aligned, you know, in this type of world. I mean, like, one minute you think they're bad, and then they've turned out to be not, like, you know, good, but you, yeah, that sympathy thing. But yeah, that face when he came back, um, that terrified me, that Edward did. Um, anyway, um, her face, like, you know, shocked about seeing it happen, but again, she could have resurrected him. I mean, it's not far-fetched. It's not, we've seen her do this numerous of times. But, Ichibi came back from the corner of his name. I'd taken the, I was going to say mana then, um, the, um, uh, what was it, power? I stole some of your power and put myself back together. And, you know, Ichigo's just like, that's messed up. So, yeah, now Ichibi is on his knees, essentially, asking Ichigo to stop, not kill, stop Juha. Now, again, Ichigo has to kill Juha. That's a given. I mean, he's the main protagonist. I mean, as much as we would want, say, Kenpachi to kill Juha, or, you know, um, Ichibi, since he was on, since she had him on the ropes for a while, it has to be Ichigo. But saying just stop him, like don't worry about killing him, just like you know stop him. To me, that's just Ichibi saying, go fight him, stall him while I do something. That's essentially what I'm 
reading off from this. I mean, that's literally screaming it. But yeah, we also find out that the Soul King is the, well, the key to this world and the other worlds. If the Soul King dies, Serete, the world of the living, Wake on Mundo, everything will disappear. But then, we see uh, Soul King slash Eisen, because yeah, that just looks like Eisen in the second form. <laughs> I mean, obviously that's been gone over ages ago, but still. Get stabbed. And then he's just saying farewell, Soul King, the one that has seen into the future, my father. So, he's obviously not dead. Because if he is dead, then everything is just going to disappear. But it makes me wonder his motive. I don't think that this is a far... Uh, blah, 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 blah. A sibling... Uh, a father and son spat. If it is, it probably has good reason. I mean, the problems that, you know, Juha has, you know, um, people taking power, and I don't know, he was being born blind. Oh, he had, what was the problems? Hold on. Bleach. Juha. Um, blah, 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 blah. history as a baby, Juha could not see, hear, speak, or even move. Despite this, he was, wait, what? <laughs> Despite this, he was not afraid and would not have cried even uh, the people around him treated him both great. Yeah, if God, you are found glad. So, that is good because you are, blah, blah, blah. Well, but yeah, um, you know, the people dying, essentially, you know, him regaining the powers, I mean, being born with that defect, he probably does feel alone, or at the very least feels forsaken by his father. I mean, that could be motive in itself to turn against him, but he hates, but that conflict thing. Wait, I read something, and I don't know if it was to do with the, it do this um there was this fan made manga well not a fan made it was a fan made chapter i don't forget how many was done i think it was two or three where i'll have the link in the description to where it is to the whole ch chapter thing but he mentioned or rather said had the idea that quincy's and soul reapers were one in the same one new one new united race but then it was the Soul Reapers that fell from that fell from this and obviously became the Soul Reapers. But from the looks of things, um, if he is indeed his father, I think it was the Quincy's that fell from the Soul Reapers. Uh, it's hard to... Uh, yeah, it, it, basically what I'm trying to say is that... the the Soul Reapers and Quincy's were one race, but however Kubo does it, um, something happened for them to separate, you know, regard, uh, uh, excluding the hollow thing, um, you know, that caused the um, Quincy's to be extinct, inverted commas. So, yeah. I could be wrong. I mean, again, I did read that from the fan fiction. I don't know if it was mentioned in... Um, Bleach itself, but I don't think it was. I don't think this concept was touched upon. I mean, I think the idea has only been, you know, like the setup is here and now for this chapter. So, yeah, um, I'm going to be rambling a lot. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm not going to say setup for Ugyo or Return with the Orihime's face, but still, the fact that she went to help him means that she ha is going to, or already has, and those two, and Grim Jao and Ugyo are waiting for, with Hardy Bell, or are going to free her. That would be awesome, but still. Um, each may pulled an ass pull. I mean, I'm not going to lie, you may hate me for saying that, but again, it's a matter of opinion, reviews are. Um, pull an ass pull. Um, a big reveal. Something that we already knew, but it's always nice to be right. Um, potential deaths within the other members of Squad Zero, but yeah. 
Um, I, I suppose it's a bit late to say it now, but... I don't know how far away... Well, it is like, you know, a tower, and I don't know how long Ichigo and friends, you know... It took them to get after Ichibi was killed. That seemed a little bit fast-paced. I mean, like... In, in hindsight, the Squad Zero was uh, essentially off-screened by the Avengers. And now we're just here, but... It has set up for, well, again, that Quincy and Shinigami thing, like, you know, being one and the same, but then the two fractions separating, going their separate ways, and then, you know, the conflict. Could be wrong, but you never know what will happen. I'm going to give this chapter a 8 out of 10. Um, mainly because of the setup of that idea. The Soul King, Ju uh, being revealed to be the Soul King's son. Um... Ichibi's, um, Ichibi's saying you, you, all you have to do is stop him. I mean, again, because there's something hidden behind that. And for me personally, I'm not going to lie, the yuki thing. I mean, you know, with Odahime coming up like that, the way she was drawn, you know, like it looked like she was obviously going to do it, but then obviously Ichibi beat her to the punch. Shit, 8 out of 10. See you next week. Good day.